everyone. Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today, I've got another quick and easy Manny um, to show you. I it, it turned out like I was going to draw a feather on my nail, and then it was like really late at night, like 7 o'clock, and I thought, I'm not going to draw a feather. I've got a stamp that's a feather. So I thought I would stamp the feather and then draw in some longer feather parts, you know, leaves or whatever you call it, feather feather whatevers. Um, and that didn't happen either. I just stamped it on there, slapped some crystals on, and that's what you're going to see today. <laughs> but it turned out really beautiful. I hope you like it. So let me show you what I did, and let's get started. In this video, we'll be using Wave Gel's Maiden of Grape, Jazzy Tonight, Top and Base Coat. There's a 10% off in the description box below. I'll also be using some 3mm gems that I got on eBay and a couple of brushes. And I'll also be using this Bundle Monster Stamping Plate, the Monocle Stamper and Scraper, and the Bundle Monster Amethyst Stamping Polish. I have two coats of Maiden of Grape and Jazzy Tonight on my fingernails. Um, and then I also have the base coat, of course, and the shiny no clean top coat. So let's begin the stamping. Okay, I'm going to be using this feather design right here. So I'm going to go in with the purple. Scrape it. Pick it up with the monocle stamper and I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on my finger. Um, there's been some questions about the monocle stamper and whether, you know, I like it or, you know, if it's as good as the big bling in that. The, the, the re okay, and I just bought it because was like it came out <laughs> and then I loved it and I think I love it better than anything that has the taller base um because you can see you know you're like right there you don't have to look down a tunnel um but you know also it's, it's got a shorter handle to hang on to but I really don't have an issue with that ever so that's what I think about this stamper. <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp one more. Just doing accent nail stamps. And I think I want it. Perfect. I decided to use these little iridescent um, gems instead of the other ones and I changed up the design a little and I'm not using the, um, I'm not going to be using the, the brushes. Now that my nails are dry, I mean the stamping part is dry, I'm going to put another coat of the, um, the no clean top coat and that's just what I prefer. I've gotten lazy. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have that on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little gems on. Just a little added bling that I kind of wanted to do. And then I'm going to cure that so they stay nice and tight in the um, in the top coat. So I'm going to go cure that and then we'll come back. There we go. That's been cured. These gems, um, it seems to be okay just to go in over the top a little with um, 
another coat of no clean top coat just so that they stay on here doesn't seem to really mess them up or anything like that I know in some other videos they said oh don't put the top coat over the top I'm not sure what kind of top coat they're talking about but this um this I actually have used over gems before and if anything it makes them more sparkly I think Okay, so now I'm going to cure that last top coat and then we will be done. Really simple and easy. So here's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, um, give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.